trick-or-treating has begun for the city of Erie and many other municipalities. And while you're out and about, there's a few ways you can keep your family safe this evening. Our Elspeth Meisner now joins us in the midst of trick-or-treating fun in Glenwood. Elspeth, what's the turnout been like so far? Mike, we couldn't have asked for better weather for tonight's trick-or-treating. And right behind you, you can see one of the houses that a lot of people are coming to. This is a house uh, in the city of Erie. You can see they're all decked out with their haunted house uh, and all the scariness that comes with that. Even trick-or-treaters out here before 6 o'clock to get a look inside. But when you are out and about today, it's always a good thing to make sure you're staying safe and keeping your kids safe as well. That includes wearing bright colors or reflective gear for older children who might be doing some trick-or-treating, staying in groups together and for adults who might be out and about maybe celebrating the Halloween uh, night uh, if they are plan on drinking make sure you have a ride in place just so then you're making sure that you're staying safe and keeping other people on the road safe as well and for people passing out candy we spoke to Mill Creek police earlier today they said it's best to stay away from those homemade treats simply because you don't know if there's any allergies for the kids you're passing out treats to we also asked Mill Creek police for some more advice on staying safe in addition to checking in with some Halloween festivities that happened before the trick-or-treating began. Traditions like this are so cool in school and they're a part of school that everyone can relate to and everyone remembers. In the last couple years, it's been hard to follow through with traditions. And uh, this year we're back and it feels great. Our biggest piece of advice would be that parents supervise their children at all times. There's gonna be kids running everywhere through the neighborhoods, make sure that if they have a darker costume, they have some kind of uh, reflective tape or something that lights up that they can attach to their costume so that they can be seen. Certainly a lot of great advice there. So from parades happening at Harding Elementary School today to haunted houses and trick-or-treating, there's a lot of fun that can be found all throughout the city of Erie and other townships as well. Once again, trick-or-treating goes till 8 o'clock tonight, and just make sure you're staying safe out there. Live in Glenwood, Elspeth Meisner, Erie News Now.